Welcome back, everyone. I am Jehovah. This is Automation Empire, and we've made it to episode 10. I'm really enjoying this game. It's a lot of fun. It's very relaxing. Uh, I like the style. So in the last episode, we got our grain farms going. Now it's time to combine those so that we can get some education going. Now when we do our combiner, I'm in love with this design right here. It's seven wide, and the first is three, but then it's two from there. So it depends on how many... Uh, I want to do so let's just start it with a straight in if we can I think we can all right so that red will always go straight in but I need the green to wrap around so let's give it a little bit of space here one two three four five six seven okay that's one layer two three four five six seven eight that's right i'm doing eight layers on this guy i don't know that i'm going to be able to keep it fed <laughs> but we're going to give it a shot do this guy this way do this guy that away right there um we'll have this train car come in oh hug tight you bastard Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, you know what? It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world, because I need those to go in straight. So, we'll just pop another door on here. Got a little window for the factory workers, so they can see the outside sun. A little vitamin D never hurt anybody. Okay, so we'll have this guy going straight down the front row here. We'll also plop a door on the front. Like so, like so. And we'll put our cart, give it a little bit of runoff here. Never is quite enough runoff. I'm just going to run it off straight for now. That'll be fine. Now this guy, uh, let's put a door on him right there and we'll also give him somewhere to unload his cargo and a nice little cart path to boot all right and we'll keep this tight till we get about right here Go up a level. Just till we get over the top. Now, elevated rails do run faster, but I just can't bring myself to making those ugly ass, you know, roller coasters, all that. Let's see. It just looks too busy when you got all that stuff up in the air like that. And we'll run this guy out here as well. <clears throat> okay, so now we need power for this guy. I'm going to give him his own power station. Can we fit it there? No, it's fine. There it is. Uh, you know what? Let's put it down here. Uh, where do those come out? All right, it comes out the side. So I can put it in the front here. For now, we'll just try it and see how it works. <clears throat> okay. Good. Main thing is I didn't need this block in the sides. So now we get with our combiners. Like so. This one is just so much fun to build. But I'm going to let you watch it. Pretty simple. This is going to be big. I seriously doubt that I'm going to be able to keep this thing full. Uh, but once the green has uh, 
run its course and I get all the education that I need, then I can start worrying about uh, going back and making more red fields. And I can really fill this up, and this could be a, a lot of stuff going onto a train eventually. Just not at the moment. I think I may run the train rail out to pick up that oil. That would be a good thing. <clears throat> okay, let's put a uh, dumper on each one of these guys. I just love this design. I haven't seen a combiner design that works better, in my opinion. But I have not watched a lot of videos. I'm sure somebody out there has a better idea, but this thing just works so well. Looks a little silly. I'll grant that, but... But she works. And it's very compact. Which gets my uh, <clears throat> spidey senses tingling a little bit. Alright. Almost there. With this stuff. Okay. <clears throat> so now, we've got to put on some doors here. These are the upstairs doors, like so. Took me a while to figure this one out, so if you're new to the game, pay attention that you can put these doors on the upside as well. Because that was the key that I was missing. <clears throat> okay, so let's connect all these guys together. And maybe this will work out where I can do a continuous track for the first time on this. Don't know. Didn't plan it that way. But let's see what we get. So tying these guys together. Like so. Alright, and then if I took this one out this way, does it stick out this side? It does. It does. It does indeed. Now, that is a continuous track, and I'm just going to put 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, at least 16. Let's give it an even 20. Uh, oh yeah, this guy needs carts too, doesn't he? Give him 10 to start with. And we're going to need some vacuums on these guys. So we start vacuuming up the good stuff. Snaking along there. All right, and our first grains are arriving. And we're starting to combine. There you go, look at that. Uh, hmm, you know, one thing I did not pay attention to here. You might be asking yourself, well, okay, they connect, fine, but uh, for what purpose here? Well, that's a good question. So we need to get it out to actually do something with this. So we'll break that apart for now. Let's get it back down on ground level. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's do this. I was so excited about getting them connected, I didn't pay attention to the fact that they, you know, they actually have to do something with this stuff. So uh, why is that not lining up? Oh too tall. There we 
go. We'll put this guy right to... Not right beside it. Not right beside it. <clears throat> Let's go down with a rail. Um, and to save room, we'll actually turn this thing. Let's turn this thing this way. Like so. And that will put us... One of these guys. Ooh, that's tight. That is awful tight. It's too tight. Okay. Fine. You know, we got to learn here. Learn by doing. So let's put this guy down first. Pop him right there. All right. And that means that we can have our cart path go right before it. Yeah. Like so. And, man, it just doesn't make sense to have it to be a continuous track. It does not. It does not make a damn bit of sense to do that. Uh, I may have to make it longer than this, though. Yeah, way longer. Okay. Good enough for the likes of us. Okay, back down to one. We'll run you straight on out. Like so. Gives a good enough place to start with. Then we'll plop some more of these guys down. Let's go with a straight eight here. Offset. Needs to have power. Done. And then we gotta vacuum that stuff up. Did I miss it? Yeah, I did. Yes, I missed it. All right, vacuum that guy up right there. Spin it around. Do the same on the other side. Like so. All right, we'll see if we can't keep these things going. But we do have something happening. All right, so the grain meal is doing its thing there. We're getting our education points. Let's think about this oil. So we need a train that's going to go this way. So let's stretch that guy out as far as it can. We're going to do the entrance as far away as we can get it to this side. Uh, let's put a random one here just so we can get more space. <laughs> that's probably good enough because I am going to do a factory there. I'll just have to keep it tight. All right, so we get that. These guys are going to have to have power. Let's get down close so we can actually see what's going on here. Power there. Power here. Okay, excellent. And then we'll run a track this way. Um, I'd like to get a little closer than that, but still keep it tight. That'll probably be good enough for us for now. Run this guy out here. Can we still fit the exit? Uh, answer is yes. Awesome. Okay. So we got that train track. Now we're going to use the new lessons that we've just learned. Let's pot, uh, let's put, not pot, let's pot. Put a few of these on here to give it a train with some length. And then at the same time, vacuum up. Nope, 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 nope. <clears throat> Trying to be a dumbass here. Trying to be a dumbass. And big tanker. There we go. Now we'll do the vacuum. Then we'll do the cart path. Give it some runoff. Find it. Blammo. 
And Bob's your uncle. Here comes the train. We got carts fi filled up. Oil ready to go. <clears throat> this is going to be eventually be a beautiful thing. Let's see if we can stop this train. Won't stop to grab any of it. Yeah, finally. Last couple cars. All right, so now 17204 should go up. I'm not sure how far, but we'll see if we can't keep this thing filled with oil. Meanwhile, we are also getting our education. This thing is not staying full yet, but I mean, I've got to get all these things full. How am I doing? Ooh, green is hurting. Yeah, so we've obviously reached the limit of our combiners. Haven't really reached it yet. We're still just filling this thing up, as you can see. So that means I've got some space in my factory. Let's uh, increase this and see what we get. So we'll start adding here. Let's go with three furnaces. Like so. We will bring these guys out to here. Nope, missed that last one. Because it needs to be a turn. So I can dump off those excess boxes. Vacuum it up. Clicking the wrong buttons. All right, so now you jump off. <clears throat> and that means you will come out. Two, you with one. Like so. All right, now. Uh, what am I looking for? As such, bring them straight in. Two and one. And make each one of these skip one crate. Which I think, if you watch it for any kind of time, is the best order to do it. And then more. Do the same thing here on the other side. Uh, okay. Pop this guy here. Like a soul. Off. I did that as well on this one. Yep. All right, excellent. And two and one. Of course, these guys don't skip any. We'll do our three tuber. Crate maker. guy going see if we can't see if we can't get those fields emptied out here skipping one all right so double the capacity of the plant here uh, those fields are pretty effective pretty efficient We've got this going on here too. Red is still looking good, but we can uh, we can 
double the impact of that. And since you just watched that once, I won't make you watch it again. There we go, instantaneous factory building. We got the second red factory coming up now, and these guys are getting filled up. Look at this. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about right here. And I'm assuming that this track is just not long enough, and that's why I'm not getting all the way down here. So let us adjust. Oh, we damn near have a collision here. There we go. Now they can fill those guys up. All right. More education to the masses. Oh, man, it could still be longer even. Let's just run her on down because I also plan to put a couple more of these guys up here. Can I fit another? Nope. That's it. That's all the fun there is to be had right here, folks. That's okay. Because it ain't going to last forever anyway. We just need to get that. As a matter of fact, I might already have it. Let's see. Uh, ethanol, no. Oh, I, I do already have it. Look at that. <laughs> and I'm over half a million, so that is excellent. Now we need ethanol, and we need capacitors. I know what capacitors need. Um, ethanol is right here, so I'm going to change this over to uh, oil from the green grass. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't even need that green factory anymore, do I? Because capacitors are that. And then that would get me to this guy right here. Hmm. Yeah, I tell you what I could do is put this guy, output this straight to the train track. I hate to have to get another train track, but look at this, man. I'm, all these trains are completely full. 18772, so I did go up a little bit. Not sure what's going on here. That's staying full. Okay, so we're still doing okay over here. These little factories. But man, this gold train is on point. Look at that. I'm not sure why these guys still have stuff in them. But whatever. It is going how it's going. This is going really well. Okay, so this factory could have some water to it. That would make it a little faster, right? Uh, I don't know. But anyway, let's see. Still haven't figured out how that really affects factories all that much, but... It doesn't matter. It makes the factories happy, so... That's what we want. We want happy factories. And these don't have water connected to them either. Which is kind of silly, because water is part of the deal. But I won't be able to go over the track. Hmm. Hmm. And I did not leave enough room between the two for a tank. No, I did not. No, just barely, though. Hmm. Well, that sucks. I could do this. Yeah, why not? Why the hell not? There you go. So that guy has water. And for my next number, let's try this. Like so. Whoops. Like so. Now he has water too. Awesome. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Okay, so rocking and rolling. Rocking and rolling. So we'll what we'll have to do is disconnect this green and run that oil into here. Now that pipeline I just made is gonna have to go away. Um, but what I can do, I could bring the pipeline back here, bring the oil in high, and drop it right over the top of it. 
that would work. Am I keeping this oil filled? Hmm, not as much. Is it just a number of trains or the lack of oil? It's pretty much lack of oil. So this factory could definitely be looked at. I got a ton of crude in there. But I could do a lot more oil. Okay. So we're at 19 though. We're getting there, man. That that's this is getting us real close. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have a problem with this at all. We could probably make this a little bit more effective. Uh, I have to do a little bit of head scratching on that. It's not really wide enough. I mean, I could do one more furnace on each side. But even then, <clears throat> it takes a while to process this stuff. Yeah, we'll just have to take a look at that. Get some more education here. And we need to get that education switched over. Get some ethanol being made. But that's probably going to have to be in the next episode. Guys, I really appreciate you all being here, uh, watching the videos. If you like them, hit that like button. Maybe subscribe, tell your friends, comment, all that good jazz. Until next time, my name is Jehovah, and I will catch you later. Goodbye.